So what are we learning today? We are learning about crystal solid, which is great because it's involved cubic unit cells by studying the three types of arrangement in a cubic system and understand the structure of crystal solid, you will understand the concept of it. Do you remember what, do you know what crystal solid are? Well, from discussion, I learned that crystalline solids are a 3D collection of repeating patterns of lattice points. All crystalline solids take up specific orderly arrangements of four atoms, ions, or molecules. Crystalline solids repeat in a uniform pattern. Now, how do we create these crystalline solids? Well, think of a think of it as a unit cell. A unit cell is a box, and in that in that box, you have the smallest collection of all the lattice points. The way it's laid on top of each other determine the type of it. Okay. okay. So, what are the types of arrangements in a cubic system? The three types are simple cubic structure, body center cubic structure, and face center cubic structure. Oh, I remember those. The simple cubic structure is a crystalline solid with a cubic unit cell with lattice points at the corners. Mm -hmm. Well, that's right. Do you know what are body centered cubic structure and face centered cubic structure? Yeah, the body centered cubic structure is a crystalline solid with cubic unit with a cubic unit cell with lattice points at the corners and center of the cell. But I don't remember the face centered structure. Well, the face centered cubic structure, as you see over here, when they have the lattice point on the corner and in the center of the of each face, and it's when all the all the spheres are packed as close as possible, like this one. Wow! Now I get it. Seeing all these three D diagrams up close really helped me visualize and understand these types of arrangements. Mm -hmm.